suppose our journey in the transfer window wasn't as bad as we were maybe thinking it was going to be at one point. At least that's my opinion of it anyway. Of course we came into this January with Alan Johnson as manager. We had Aidan Keener and Malera Martin on loan from Hearts and of course they ended up departing the club and went back to Hearts. But now, obviously, they, as I said, just returned to Hearts and we were left without them in the squad and obviously Alan Johnson was manager, as I stated. We changed that quite early in the month after the Alloa game and then obviously it was down to Stevie Crawford to get in players for the rest of January and then looking forward to the rest of the season. And he basically just replaced Nolera Martin and Aidan Keener and obviously brought in Ryan Scully on top of that as well. So for all that we've mentioned obviously the goalkeeper wasn't a position that we needed strengthening in. I don't think Ryan Skill is the worst signing that we could have made. Maybe it was a bit unneeded at the time. But he's here now and I don't think we're going to be that worse off for having him in the squad. It's a bit weird having basically five goalkeepers. But realistically I think even Cammy Gill is not going to get picked realistically these days. So I think it is just out of Scully and Robinson really for the remainder of this season and then we'll see what happens in the summer. And that's basically my opinion on that transfer. I like Ryan Scully as a goalkeeper and I think he'll do a good enough job for us at the end of the day. He's a competent goalkeeper at championship level and we've all seen what he's done before with us. So we need to just get behind this team now and just see what happens with it. And if Ryan Scully's part of that starting eleven for the foreseeable future, then so be it. The situation with the goalkeepers and the amount that we have just has to go a bit on the back burner because the rest of the season has to be at least enjoyable because the first half of the season was anything but that. Now as I mentioned earlier this month as well, Aidan Keener and Maleri Martin departed the club and unfortunately that kind of meant that there was holes left in the squad. Maleri Martin less so, obviously Aidan Keener was our finisher at that point and it was really the sucker punch that we didn't need in this January window and it happened, Aidan Keener's now back at Hearts of course and the rumours started to sway about in the last couple of days that we were looking at Aberdeen players Bruce Anderson and Scott Wright on loan. Scott Wright ended up going to Dundee and Bruce Anderson was the one that we were all kind of hoping that would still be alive and kicking coming into the deadline day. And luckily enough for us, we got our man. Even though it was pretty late in the day, the Daily Record broke the story at about 6pm and then the club officially announced it at about 8 or 9. But it all worked out well in the end and apparently, apart from all the stories saying that he was basically an injured player and he wasn't going to be fit until March, apparently he's fit and ready to play at least next week anyway, if not this Saturday coming. So basically, just don't listen to anything that you read in the media. Just wait on the official kind of sources coming out and saying it. At the end of the day, I think Bruce Anderson will come in regardless of how fit he is. It's only going to be maybe a couple of weeks at most if he is injured. If he's not, as I said, he'll come in next week probably. But if he's not injured, then we've got a fantastic player in our hands. And I'm going to stick my neck out on the line and say that he might actually be a better overall player than Aidan Keener. But we'll wait and see on that one. Of course, he's been highly rated by Aberdeen fans and was actually touted by some of their fans as a possible first team player for the remainder of this season but with Sam Cosgrove coming in and scoring the amount of goals that he has and playing so well I think that was always a kind of down point for Bruce in terms of his development so coming out on loan to us will do him the world of good I imagine and hopefully it sees us through to the end of the season and he keeps us up because at the end of the day we're closer to the relegation playoffs now than we are the promotion ones so Here's hoping that Bruce Anderson can fire in a few goals for us and keep us up and then we rebuild next season. Now as I mentioned we had kind of, with our new signings, replaced both Melanie Martin and Aidan Keener. So with the next signing we replaced Melanie Martin in the squad of course. And that was with Ryan Blair, a Swansea player. We've got him on loan until the end of the season as well. So we have basically done like for like. Two Hearts loanies obviously returned to their parent clubs. And we've replaced it with Aberdeen loanee Bruce Anderson and Swansea loanee Ryan Blair. A bit of background on Ryan Blair. He used to play for Falkirk. He came through their youth system and then got snapped up by Swansea along with a few other Falkirk players years back now. And he was quite highly rated at Falkirk. And then he's kind of been a bit in and out, mostly playing under 23s football in the last couple of years. And now he's found himself here at Dunfermline. And it's obviously another midfield option, which you wouldn't have exactly said was the most needed option in our squad. 
But we came into this January with the exact same players that we've left it with and obviously just the one extra goalkeeper but in terms of outfield players we've got the exact same players that we came into January with so obviously we wanted maybe a winger or maybe a defender to cover it right back and stuff like that but I think the squad is quite evenly balanced for where we are in the table right now and we all know how notoriously difficult it is to get players in January of good quality and the ones that you want albeit there's loads of players in world football that you could have chosen and maybe took a punt on but at the end of the day you don't want to be making signings just for signing's sake and I think the acquisitions of Ryan Scully of course, Bruce Anderson and Ryan Blair should see us through to the end of the season and I'm quietly confident that we will avoid the relegation playoff spots. I think that if we beat the teams below us currently, so Alloa, Partick and Falkirk, then that's a good incentive for us to then just push on and finish above them at least because if we can beat them then that's taking not only three points off of them but adding three points to us it's what you know is six pointers obviously so if we can do that then I think we'll be fine this season that is the main objective for this season now just to kind of steer clear of any sort of relegation problems and then see where it takes us in terms of possible promotion ones despite how I don't know how minuscule the chances of that look at the moment Obviously this has now been another Dunfermline video, another Dunfermline based video but the transfer window was a big thing for us this season and I had to get my opinions out on it and all the signings that we've made so there's my opinions on it. I think Ryan Scully is a good signing, I think Bruce Anderson's a very good signing as long as he's fit as soon as possible and Ryan Blair will be a good acquisition to the squad, a bit like Mallory Martin I think, I don't think he'll come in and make a tremendous impact. But I think he'll be a good wee acquisition to add a bit of numbers in the midfield. Maybe if we need a different option at times. But aye, that's it for this video guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a like. Comment down below what your team's best kind of signing was in the transfer window, if they made any. I'm assuming you would have made one throughout the month. So what was your thoughts on that transfer and what was the best or worst one? And until the next video, which will be the big match, the match day vlog for tomorrow's game. I'll see you then. Cheers guys. And by the way, did you see the amount of signings that Dundee United have made? I think their lineup will look a bit like this this weekend. See you in the next video.